How to Test Raw Black Diamond at Home, a comprehensive guide using all methods. Black diamonds, also known as carbonados, are rare and mysterious gemstones prized for their unique beauty and value. However, distinguishing genuine raw black diamonds from imitations or treated stones requires a deep understanding of their properties. In this guide, we'll explore methods to test raw black diamonds at home using simple tools while highlighting the pros and cons of each approach. Short sure one, visual inspection. Goal, identify natural characteristics of raw black diamonds. Tools, a 10X magnifying loop or small microscope. Steps, examine the stone under bright light. Genuine black diamonds often display natural inclusions, such as dark spots, graphite flecks, or irregular internal patterns. Due to their formation under extreme pressure, raw black diamonds have an uneven, porous surface. Avoid stones with air bubbles, overly smooth surfaces, or glass-like clarity. These are signs of synthetic materials like cubic zirconia or glass. Reliability. Limited, as some lab-grown stones may mimic natural flaws. 2. The Fog Test. Goal. Check thermal conductivity. Tools your breath. Steps. Breathe warm air onto the stone's surface to create a fog-like condensation. If the fog disappears instantly, the stone could be real. Diamonds disperse heat rapidly. If the fog lingers for two to three seconds, likely a fake, e.g. glass or quartz. Reliability. Low as moissanite, a diamond simulant, also conducts heat well. 3. The Scratch Test. Goal. Test hardness. Diamonds rank 10 on the most scale. Tools, a piece of glass or corundum, sapphire, ruby. Steps, gently scratch the glass or corundum with the stone. If it leaves a scratch, the stone might be a diamond. If the stone chips or fails to scratch, likely an imitation. Warning, this test may damage softer stones. Avoid using it on finished jewelry. 4. Electrical Conductivity Test. Goal. Natural black diamonds conduct electricity due to graphite impurities. Tools, a multimeter. Steps, set the multimeter to measure resistance. Touch the probes to opposite sides of the stone. If conductivity is detected, could indicate a genuine diamond. No conductivity, likely a treated stone or simulant. Reliability, moderate, as some metals and synthetic materials also conduct electricity. 5. Specific Gravity Test. Goal. Measure density compared to water. Tools. Precision scale, water, thread. Steps. 1. Weigh the stone in air, A. 2. Submerge it in water and weigh again, B. 3. Calculate density, tensity, frac A, A minus B. If density is 3.1 to 3.5 gram, possible diamond. Lower density, likely glass, grass, 2.5 grams per meter or quartz, 2.6 grams per meter Reliability, high if done accurately but requires precision. 6. Magnet test. Goal, most natural diamonds are non-magnetic. Tools, a strong neodymium magnet. Steps, hold the magnet close to the stone. If attracted, the stone may contain metallic impurities or be synthetic. No reaction, does not confirm authenticity, but rules out some fake. 7. UV light test. Goal. Some diamonds fluoresce under UV light. Tools. UV flashlight. 365 nanometers wavelength. Steps. Shine UV light on the stone in a dark room. Blue or green fluorescence suggests a natural diamond. No glow. Does not confirm a fake, as not all diamonds fluoresce. 8. Diamond tester device. Goal. Measure thermal electrical conductivity. Tools, portable diamond tester, available online. Steps, turn on the device and press the probe against the stone. Diamond indicator, high chance of authenticity. Limitations, may confuse moissanite with diamond. 9. Consult a professional gemologist. If home tests are inconclusive, submit the stone to a gemological lab, e.g. GIA, IGI, for advanced analysis using X-ray diffraction, spectroscopy, Key notes. Natural black diamonds are extremely rare. Most market stones are treated or synthetic. Two, home tests are not 100% foolproof. Combine methods for better accuracy. Three, year. Tenon, 
Light Reflection Test Goal, examine how the stone reflects light. Tools, bright white LED light or natural sunlight. Steps, hold the stone under a strong light source. Genuine diamonds reflect light in shades of gray and white brilliance and may show rainbow flashes, fire. Fakes like cubic zirconia often produce excessive rainbow colors appearing too sparkly. Reliability, moderate, may be difficult to assess with black diamonds due to their dark surface, but still useful in some cases. 11. Water Drop Test Goal, test surface tension and hydrophobic properties. Tools, a dropper and clean water. Steps, place a small drop of water on the stone surface. If the water beads up and remains spherical, the surface may be diamond. If the drop flattens or spreads, likely a porous or fake material. Reliability, low to moderate, can be influenced by surface dirt or polish. 12. Heat Resistance Test With Caution Goal, diamonds resist heat and won't shatter easily. Tools, lighter and cold water, not recommended for amateurs. Steps, heat the stone with a lighter for 30 seconds, then drop it in cold water. A real diamond won't be damaged. Fakes like glass may crack due to thermal shock. Warning, this method is risky and can damage non-diamond materials. Avoid using on valuable stones. 13. Sound Testing Test Goal Analyze sound quality when tapped. Tools, metal object, or another gemstone. Steps, tap the stone lightly against a glass or metal surface. Diamonds produce a sharp, high-pitched sound. Fakes may sound dull or muted. Reliability, low, requires experienced ears. 14. Polarizing Filter Test Check for double refraction or light behavior. Tools, two polarizing lenses or sunglasses. Steps, place the stone between two polarizing filters. Rotate the top filter and observe any light changes. Diamonds are singly refractive. Simulants like moissanite may show double refraction. Reliability, moderate, but harder to interpret with black diamonds due to their opaque nature. Testing raw black diamonds at home is possible with patience and the right tools. However, these methods are preliminary. For high-value stones, professional verification is essential. Investing in expert evaluation could save you from costly mistakes and ensure your gem's true worth. Pro tip. Always purchase from reputable dealers and request a gemstone certification for authenticity.